Hello, it's Jeanette again. And so I've been hearing stories on the internet and Facebook about people that had taken Cipro. It's antibiotic. It's it's actually sup, Ciprofloxin hydrochloride tablets. Um, I had a bad experience. I had a urinary tract infection. So they gave me Cipro. And let me see. I, shortly after taking the first one, I started getting some symptoms. Didn't know what it was. Took my second dose and then... All of a sudden, I was just experiencing dizziness. The kind of dizziness where you lay down and you still feel everything spinning. I had bad headache. I had numb feet and a feeling of, um, like, I don't know, electricity going in and pain going up my legs. And I also, I also had um, pain all over my body and um, really bad stomach pain. And not only pain, but my legs felt like they were burning and on fire. And um, numbness and, and um, let's see, I wrote it down so I don't forget. Uh, oh, dark urine and back pain. And I was in so much pain. So we went to, to the um, Walter Reed Hospital. And I was, I was it was so much pain and, and I couldn't get right in because uh, they were full. So they didn't have any more beds left, so I had to wait in agonizing pain. And then, finally I did get in, and they gave me some pain medicine. And then they took some, um, took a CT scan, thinking it maybe it's kidney stones. And I have no stones, but I do, did get another cyst in my kidneys. Um, so then the doctor, the doctors couldn't really say anything, and then they... They start saying, well, maybe it's constipation and the, the feelings in your legs and stuff were um, anxiety. Then I'm asking, well, what about all the pains, you know, out throughout my body? And then they said, well, we don't know. And I said, and then we asked, could it be a um, side effect of the Cipro? Oh, no, it's not. It's not a side effect. So after I got some pain medicine, they sent me home. And when I got home, I read the sheet for it, and on it were all the symptoms I was having. And I, and it's crazy because I even asked them, is it the side effect? And they said no. So this is the sheet that I gave. I guess I should have read it first, but this is the sheet I was given. I mean, gosh, it, the side effects are, there are so many side effects to this stuff. And I circled all the things I was having problems with. And then, yeah, this is more of the sheet that tells you what's wrong. But no, it wasn't side effects from the medicine, right? According to the doctors. I think sometimes because I have, it says um, bipolar and, and autism in my records that they just automatically think I'm, this is all in my head or it's anxiety. I think that is partly to do with things too. And also I had another trip before that, like a while back. And they, they diagnosed constipation again. And I was just feeling lousy, just bad all over. So this has nothing to do with the Cipro, but um, I went to the doctor and they took my thyroid level. And the hormone that tells you to produce the, the um, thyroid stuff was so high, higher than the doctor has ever seen before. And um, I, have no, I have no um, thyroid. So I take thyroid supplements. And what happened is the, the dose wasn't high enough. So my doctor made it higher and then sent me to the endocrinologist. Well, the endocrinologist, even though I kept telling him that I take the, I've been taking the medicine every day, an hour before I eat, no vitamins, just water with it. He didn't believe me. So, so my levels were coming back up. And then he said, that's too high of a dose. So he put it even lower than the dose that I had when it was uh, it made me so sick. And then, guess what? Later, when I had my thyroid checked again, six weeks later, it was too low again. And he called me, and I was talking. I said, you know, he still didn't, you know. He kind of figured I was, uh, I don't know if he was admit to it or not, but when I was in there the first time, he, he just did not believe me. He did not believe me that I was not taking, I mean, that I was taking my medicine. So then he did say sorry, and he did put it back up, my thyroid level medicine. So now I felt a lot better, but things are crazy. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, 
I told them I didn't have a thyroid in that trip. Why, I don't know why they couldn't just test, check it, just in case. I mean, this, this was not all in my head. Okay, so, let's see, that's about it for that, but why are they still giving this antibiotic out? I'm hearing more and more and more things from mostly women that have had bad side effects and sometimes um, permanent damage from Serpro. Um, I just don't understand how such a dangerous thing could still be given out, like candy or something. You know, oh, you got a urinary tract infection. Here, take some Cipro. You have upper respiratory infection. Take some Cipro. Um, it's just wrong. Okay, so if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have a story about Cipro, um, please tell me in the comments what went on. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Bye.